Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to my channel this week. Today is February 14th and that is Valentine's Day. I've never really made a Valentine's Day get ready with me because I've never really um celebrated Valentine's Day until this year. I figured I haven't really done like a sit down and talk kind of video in a really long time and I'm not going like super super all out for Valentine's Day but like enough to the point where I can make this video. So I'm just gonna take you through my get ready process because as you can see I have not really started. I have this little white scrunchie in and like I'm very much in comfort mode right now. I don't have to be officially ready for another two hours so I'm giving myself some nice like cushion time. I've never really had the camera in this position but the sun is being really weird if I were to like put it over here and then for whatever reason there's like a weird flare on this angle. So I'm gonna start the process of straightening my hair now. Everyone has their own method of doing this. I think I covered that in a different video. As you can see, honestly, it doesn't look too bad, but like, we're gonna straighten it. I'm looking in the mirror above, that's why my eyes are kind of sidetracked. Not trying to burn my scalp here. Fun little side note, Justin Bieber's new album, Changes, came out today. And before I started filming this video, I kind of started listening to it. I really like the song, I think it's called Second Emotions, featuring Travis Scott. I forget what the other name was since I started from the beginning and then just kind of left my phone alone so I didn't really know what any of the songs were called. Whoops! There was another song that was like kind of fast paced that I really liked. I think it was called Running Over. Those were my two faves so far and I was gonna do a reaction video and then I got halfway through the album and realized that I wasn't about to film a fake reaction video to songs I had already heard but I do recommend. I think it was pretty good. Only like a couple skips in there. Please don't come at me if you're a huge Justin Bieber fan and you don't think there were any skips on the album, I had a couple. As for my plans tonight, my boyfriend and I are going to a really nice restaurant. We were actually really proactive about getting reservations since reservations can be really hectic on Valentine's Day and especially fancy places get booked like really, really quickly. So we actually booked our restaurant one month in advance and we confirmed our reservation this morning and everything. And I'm honestly really excited because the hype for this restaurant has been building up for the entire month. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the rest of the straightening off camera so that it's not just me sitting here straightening the whole time. So next will probably be when I'm doing my makeup. Okay, I just about finished straightening my hair now. And after this, I think I'm gonna go on to makeup, which I think I'm gonna do pretty light, but still have it be there. I was gonna do a skincare routine video because I actually really like my current skincare routine. The only thing is that it's short and simple, so I don't really know how effective like that video would actually be. Something I've really been into using is this philosophy brand Purity Ultra Light Moisturizer. Just because with my pale skin, I like to be as least red as possible. Here's the before. And in my opinion, the before and after of using this moisturizer is pretty apparent. I find that my skin is a lot smoother and evened out. And to me, it appears less red. I don't know if that's like a psychological thing, but I like the way that this moisturizer feels and it keeps my skin hydrated. As you can see my bottle, like I've gone through a lot of this stuff. And then whatever's left on my hand, I literally just rub like this. And that way it keeps my hands like from getting dry since it's the winter season right now. And in my opinion, I think it definitely makes a difference. And it also serves as like a nice base for applying anything. Cause I'm not really gonna do foundation. I don't really know what I wanna do today. Could do like a basic makeup look. Also, I always apply this sunscreen lip balm because it keeps my lips moisturized. And to me, this smells so good. Julia got me like a refill for Christmas. Thank you, Julia. I use it like every single day. I haven't worn eyeshadow in so long and part of me doesn't know if I should. I wanna look extra nice, you know? Also, I'm not sure if I wanna apply these yet. My sister got, oh my god, the sun just came out. My sister had gotten these like a little while ago and I really liked how they looked on her nails. I've never really used fake nails like these, but apparently they work really well. And once you guys see my dress, I feel like these might go really cute with it. I bought a dress online literally weeks ago that I've just been waiting to wear. Also, I don't know if I should leave my hair down or like put it up in a little scrunchie. I'm really, really indecisive tonight. I might just leave it like this. For anyone who likes to wear makeup, I don't know if this is just me, but I feel like every Everyone has, like if they can't think of something new and creative, they just go to like the same default.
default. My default is taking this palette that Sophia got me and using this shade on like the inner corner and then taking this palette and using like a shimmery brown shade to like blend it out or something I haven't really used in a hot minute. I bought this a while ago and it's like sparkly, like really sparkly and it goes really, really cute and makes a shimmery eyelid. You know what? I think this is one of those times where we're just gonna go for it and I think it would go cute with the dress. I literally take it and just go for it. I am not fancy when it comes to makeup, believe me. My dog is not calm right now. I am glowing. Stuff is really shimmery. <laughs> but at the same time, it's kind of a special occasion. That didn't go terrible. I think we pulled it off. This one might need a little bit more because this one is way sparkly. I normally do not go that bold, but honestly, kind of worth it. I think you can see it like literally from this distance that it's really shimmery. I think I'm just gonna leave it. Next, I think I'm gonna do mascara because honestly, I feel like that might be enough to close out the look. So hopefully I don't mess up the mascara now. Moments later. I think I did it. So this is what the look looks like. I honestly think I'm gonna leave it alone after this. Typically you wouldn't do like eyes without doing lips, but I'm just like not a lipstick person. So next, I think I'm actually gonna go and put on these Impress Press-On Manicure Nails. So here's what the package looks like after it's opened. One step gel. Keep nails on. Yes, that's the goal. This is like so tiny. Adhesive is pressure sensitive. The firmer you press down, the stronger it will be, the longer the wear. Find nail size and place on assigned space. Oh my god, they literally give you a chart. This might take a hot minute. I'm not really gonna show my process of this, but hopefully I can figure out which one goes best with which nail. Okay, so now I'm gonna open the prep pad and cleanse my nails. Really tiny prep pad. Oh my god, it smells so strong. I mean, that's good. It's probably killing every possible germ on my nails right now. Next for each nail, I have to peel off the clear backing to reveal the adhesive align my nail with the cuticle and press down firmly. So that seems easy enough. My cuticles are pretty cleaned up, aligning with the cuticle and press firmly. So there goes the first nail. Okay, one down. Also, I'm gonna have to file off like the little tip on top. I think that's what this thing right here is for. Just to get rid of that little rough edge. Yeah, that's definitely what that's for. This is the third one. It's going pretty well, not to get too ahead of myself, but I'm pretty impressed. Almost done a full hand. Honestly, I may have picked the wrong size for that nail. Does not look snug. Oh, it said do the thumbs last. Let's do the other pinky. Oh my god, it feels so weird using them. So fake. Honestly, they really only realistically have to last me through tonight, which is a good thing. That's all of them without the thumbs. Last one. God, I've literally never worn fake nails like this. We've officially put on the nails. Honestly, I'm really happy with how they look. Looking at my vlog camera, that only took seven minutes to do. For anyone who's ever done their own manicures, you know that you are definitely not done in seven minutes time. So honestly, I recommend if you're looking for a time efficient way to do your nails, and have them like guaranteed to be even and look nice. Definitely recommend this brand right here. And they had a bunch of different colors you could choose from too. So the last step is obviously putting on my outfit and this is the dress that I'll be wearing. Okay, so I'll stand up for the completed look. Honestly, this is not normally my kind of look, but you know, when you're feeling it, you're feeling it. Sometimes you get a fun, creative look that you don't normally do. Thank you so much for watching this Get Ready With Me. And with all that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, that whole thing, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!